Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your April 2023 reading. Always take what resonates and then at any time you would like me to tune in to adjust your energy, the link to my Etsy shop is down below. I offer a variety of readings over there. All right, now this is going to be a general reading. We'll see what comes through. I will be doing love readings for April following this session. And a quick reminder, um, I'm still giving away the two 25 to 35 minute readings for the giveaway in March. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I do monthly giveaways. Sometimes they're monetary gift cards. Other times they're free readings. Um, it's just my way of giving back for my journey here on YouTube. So this month will be two 25 to 35 minute readings. You just need to be a subscriber and leave a green emoji of some sort in the comment section, whether it be a four leaf clover, a green heart, whatever you feel driven towards in your emojis, leave that in the comment section of every reading that you view of mine during the month of March. At the end of the month, and this holds true for each and every month, at the end of the month, I will choose two random people for this month too, um, to receive those free readings and reach out to you initially um, through YouTube. I will remind you guys to check your notifications at the end of the month and you know, then we'll go from there and I'll get the information that you need. All right, Sagittarius, we just got two that came out, Abundance. Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and prosperity. And transformation. See how that chain is broke? But it's almost like a beautiful awakening. A beautiful transformation com comes from you breaking free from anything that is binding. That like feel you feel like it's holding you back, whether it be in your thought process or in your physical energy, letting go and breaking free from something. It says, reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life, and become the person you want to be. Blessings coming your way. This spring equinox reading is out, and the new moon in Aries reading. Right. work through your fears new moon in Scorpio I'm going to put that right by transformation because there is definitely fear anxiety you know breaking free and moving towards the unknown for my Sagittarius's April 2023 spirit to the sea card of seven I, I get a lot of tranquility you know you might be doing some traveling I also get spending some time with yourself in peace and harmony and solitude I also receive the energy of cleansing away, breaking free of anything that no longer belongs in your life. Cleanse the emotions, cleanse the anxiety, the any negativity that is around you, just cleanse it away for the month of April. With it being spring, everything is blooming. Um, it's a renewal. It's, you know, it's, it's new growth. Just take that deep breath and spend some time with yourself in breaking free. All right, so I just got this deck on Etsy, Forever Tarot, and it says at Maggie Shailene Tarot right here. Amazing deck. I actually, as soon as I received it, beautiful pictures. As soon as I received it, I went on and pretty much added every deck of hers in that in that store to my cart. Bottom of the deck is Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign. 
you may have water in your chart, but it's the energy of being emotionally stable, of wanting something that um, provides warmth in your life, happiness in terms of love, long-term commitment, exchanging um, of emotions and love. Sagittarius is energy, spirit. Four of Cups. Feeling like, you know, nothing around you is intriguing. Feeling disconnected. Feeling like you may have been breadcrumbed. A missed opportunity. And I feel like it was a hard ending or a missed opportunity. More water energy. Current situation for Sagittarius during April 2023. I feel like somebody's coming in. You could be the missed opportunity, Sagittarius. Coming in very quickly. They may have air in their chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Coming towards you because they feel like you are their happiness. You are what they consider storybook ending. And right after that is judgment. So I definitely feel a reconciliation here. What is helping out the current situation? The Knight of Wands. Look at this. So guys, what's helping out the Knight of Swords from acting very quickly? You may be in a connection with someone. Somebody might have already shot their bow and arrow right to you. And this person is like, oh hell no, am I giving up on my fire sign? No, am I giving up on my Sagittarius? You may have put your interest out there for somebody new. And this person is like, F, what did I do? Coming in quickly. I do feel a challenge here. You needing to make a decision. Whether it be they were keeping an eye on you or asking about you, but somebody feels like you are the one that got away. Look at this, Ace of Cups at the bottom. See what I mean? All right, let's see. This got just got intriguing. What is the past energy for Sagittarius? The moon. You could be dreaming about somebody specifically. But like I said, it's like spirit saying, there's something coming towards you. You just wait and see for April. You don't need to know everything. I feel somebody is hiding their emotions for you and is breaking free and traveling very quickly. What is the future energy? King of Wands. I love that it showed up a king. It makes me feel like a leveling up type of energy. I feel an offer coming in and it's because you've took back your power. You know, you took back that leadership role that a fire sign is. And I just see a couple people wanting to be with you, but one is feeling like remorse, regret, Oh. What is the energy that Sagittarius needs to embrace in the month of April? Thank you, Spirit. The Hanged Man. You know, you just hanging out, doing you, getting a different perspective on things. Looking for the light at the end of the tunnel in this situation. But I feel like you're, you know, you're okay with the delayed action. It's not holding you back. It's a time for growth within you. Like I said, cleansing away the, what, what holds you back. Working through any fears or anxiety because at the end of April, there is great abundance coming your way. Somebody coming towards you and wanting to work on things as a team with you. 
what is the energy that Sagittarius needs to let go of? Let me get that. Eight of Cups in reverse. Get out of your head for whoever it is that you're thinking about. Like I said, don't hold on to anything that was supposed to walk away. Don't hold on to that in your head. Don't hold on to that in your energy. Let it walk away. You walk away from what no longer belongs in your life. It doesn't mean you're walking away for it, from it for good. You're walking away from the past. Looking forward to the here and the now and the future. What's truly meant for you will never pass you by. Never. It doesn't matter if you're in Alaska and they're in Canada. It doesn't matter. Things will evolve. Things will, the universe will turn and shift. And so will, you know, your spirit guides put things in action so that you both end up at the same place at the same time if that's the way you're supposed to reconnect. Let go of the burden. All right, Spirit, please clarify the Four of Cups as Sagittarius' energy. The Magician. I really think you're thinking of someone so much that you're manifesting. You're manifesting what's coming towards you. So what I got to say to that, and what do I say in my readings? You've got to raise your energy so that you're manifesting exactly what you want. You don't want to manifest from a place of the four of cups, of sadness, of nothing being intriguing, of just waking up and going through the motions. You don't want to manifest from that energy because that's going to be continued cycles of that energy. You've got to find your inner strength and pull yourself out of that energy and, you know, it put out manifestation, manifest from a place of attitude is gratitude. Why is the Knight of Swords here and the Knight of Wands? Look at this. Do you see this? There is someone, and I feel you're feeling the same, but there was someone who feels like they missed their opportunity with you. And they're charging in very quickly. That's why I say let go of whatever didn't work out. So that you're in the best energy for when it comes towards you. And why is the moon here? Please clarify the moon spirit. Yeah? You have no idea how good it's about to get for you. The Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Clarifying the soulmate connection. Clarifying this love offer coming in. Clarifying that they see forever with you. And please clarify the King of Wands and the Hanged Man energy. Six of Cups. I called that in the beginning, Six of Cups energy. Memories between the two of you. Replaying um, old messages. Looking at old text messages. Looking at old photos. Both of you manifesting this. And please clarify the Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, okay, we'll take it. Two of Pentacles. Needing to make a decision. Reclaiming the balance in your life, Sagittarius. And look at this. I'm getting water and air here. Water and air energy. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But just walk away from what didn't work. 
Walk away from the memories that you're holding, the constant thinking about someone. Because I feel like this person that you're constantly thinking about, they only have eyes for you, just like you only have eyes for them. They are going to make that romantic gesture, Sagittarius. They are. Your soulmates. Past life connection with each other. But I, I got to tell you, I do feel like I said, you may have put it out there that you are, you know, dating or with someone else. And they're like, F no, I'm coming in. All right, we have D. Y, R, T, E, A, O, U, S, as in Sam, K, N, as in now. Hold on, I'm dropping tiles. I'm trying to get rid of the ones we already have. Let's see. All right, let's see what else. P. And I heard prankster, so maybe somebody who likes to be a prankster, maybe somebody who likes to bust balls, something like that. I don't know. That just came through. Okay, so focus on the, minute, the initials, the letters, and focus on the messages that came through. If it completely resonates, and there's letters for your name, maybe their name, within the name, then there's messages here for you. If it completely resonates... And you don't see letters that match up. That's okay too. This is just a way of making it more personal. All right, Sagittarius. This definitely got very intriguing because I feel two people, you know, in your energy. And one is like a lover from the past who does not want to miss their opportunity with you. They already feel like you're the one that got away. All right. I wish you the best week ahead. So much love and light.